Hello guys, in our last video, we talk about agent, what is multiple agent, how multiple agent work together and we seen one simple example to understand we can implement multiple agent system using semantic kernel. To understand multiple agent, we used this simple example, one question for English teacher and another one question for Max teacher. Finally, our master will approve it. So this is a basic of multiple agent. Now we think of the next level of multiple agent. Here we have the student database. In the student database, it contains the roll number, question and answer. So let we assume have already attended the examination. So the, all the information available in the database. The next step, English teacher, go and fetch the data from the database, English related questions and student answer. Same way of Max. Our master will check with the English teacher and uh, max teacher about the status of the students and finally master will prepare the email template based on the student status the challenge here is this are all llm agent so our agent cannot directly access the database we have to somehow provide the interface to access this database to implement this concept semantic kernel has a plugin concept this one i have already talked about a lot in our video series, you can go and check it out what is plugin and how to use this one. So the same plugin, we are going to use this agent to access the database. For Max teacher, we have Max plugin. So this guy will access only the Max related question and answer. Like that for the English teacher, for English plugin and finally our master. So these are the three plugins we are going to create and based on that roll number, it will fetch the data from the database and it will validate. Next, move on to Visual Studio and we implement this feature. In Visual Studio, I have created one project called SK Agent Plugin. Here I define plug plugin folder, student folder and the program.cs file. First, we'll see the uh, student folder. The student folder, I have class called the student exam database. This class implement from this i principal exam database this interface derived from i teacher exam database this interface will talk about little bit later i just highlight what this class is doing this class just created this dummy database uh, for example five student has been added and each student attend the one max question and one english question all are uh, unique question so for example max question what is 12 plus 13 and for student roll number two, what is five into 17? So here multiplication and here addition, like that it will change. English question also same, different, different kind of question and each student has a parent email address. That also we'll talk about a little bit later. And this class contains some of the function uh, related to our interface, get question, get answer, and the student available or not, and their mark and get total mark, parent email and student name the next major class is the plugin folder this plugin folder as i mentioned earlier uh, english teacher has uh, one separate plugin and the max teacher also separate plugin and our principal also separate plugin so if you go to the english teacher plugin i just pass the teacher exam interface as a argument to this class and here we have a uh, three different function one for student question student answer and evaluate get student question if pass the roll number and related to english we get the english question and the same what student has been answered that information we get from the student answer so once agent evaluate the mark this function get called and here we need a roll number and a mark so we update the, the data in the our database student exam database like that max teacher also here also uh, same plugin, same question, same student answer and evaluate. And our master here, master has a little bit different uh, information. This derived from our I principal exam database. Ma our master can access the total mark of the student and the parent email and the student name also. This uh, possibility our master has. Next, we go to the main program.cs file. Here the major code has been written so here our uh, principal agent 
we have to pass like same uh, last time we have to pass a kernel builder and we created the chat completion agent there are two major changes i did in this function the first one i updated the instruction to the agent what is your role here i mentioned based on the student role number retrieve the results both max and english teacher then updated the student total marks based on that student total marks prepare email template for the parent ensure the email template is not more than two lines so i ask the agent you have to prepare the uh, email also based on the student mark and the email address it's not more than two lines and the t email template should include the information also uh, the student name and total marks any additional comments need to needs to be added or not so finally once your job is done send a message approve to complete the process so this we already talk about the last video approve use case and the second major changes this one here you can see the execution settings i set as open a prompt execution settings tool call behavior as a auto kernel function so this also i, I have a lot talk about this function calling mechanism in our video series i given the link you can go and check it out how this it's working like that i added three different agent english agent here i mentioned you have to evaluate the mark and if everything fine assign five marks otherwise you have to reduce the mark so like that i given uh, here also this execution settings added and max agent the same like english teacher only and here also we set as kernel invo function so we just created only the agent we did not pass the plugin information to the agent so far so that step will go to the next one so in this step we created the agent and here we created the plugin object so max teacher plugin i pass the constructor which interface this max teacher plugin should use that one uh, teacher exam uh, database so this interface we are passing it the next one using the agent object we have to use a property kernel plugin add here we have to pass this uh, max teacher plugin but one more changes here here i used kernel plugin factory dot create from object so this helper class used i pass the plugin information because the plugin needed is a kernel plugin as a argument but our uh, max teacher plugin does not have this uh, kernel plugin interface it is just a plain our c# class is a different class to convert this plugin class to the kernel plugin we have to use this kernel plugin factory use the function create from object we have to pass a plugin object so this function return the kernel plugin so that's added into the agent like that for english agent a master agent i used the principal exam teacher should not access the principal access so that's the reason i created the separate interface for this one so once all is ready the same agent group we have to pass the max agent english agent our master agent and here the chat message i passed the information let me know the mark about the role number 2 the next step i call this agent group chat so they will talk each other and uh, they will prepare answer for us we'll quickly run and we see the result of this program here we get the final result max teacher evaluate the max question and english teacher evaluate the english question finally we get the total mark 10 and the student name is raja and email template has been prepared subject raja's exam results dear parent we are pleased to inform you that raja has scored a total 10 marks in the recent assessment keep up the good work so our agent is working we can quickly cross check it also if you go to the student exam database role number 2 so role number 2 is raja so our result and the database information is matching